What's up everybody? In this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to create one of the most frequently asked requirements by the business, and that is to create a metric trending year over year, so they can see uh, how the metric performs year after year. Uh, we're gonna start off by connecting to our data set, which I've already done. This is the Bitcoin price history for the past three years, starting from 2022, starting from 2020 rather, all the way to 2024. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to start off by taking the month, the date field and dropping that on the column shelf. And rather than year, I want the, the actual month. I'm going to change that to a month. And then next, I'm going to create a, a calculated field, which I've already done, but I'll walk you through exactly what, what's being done here. In this calculated field, I want the max price for, for that particular month, since my view is going to be at the month, month level. So I, I've already done that. I take my max BTC price, drop that on the rows shelf, and you can see I already have a line graph uh, that's showing with labels already present, showing the, the, the largest value that Bitcoin has ever seen, 68,270. Um, what I wanna do next is I wanna take the date field and I wanna drop it on my filter shelf. And then I wanna click double click on relative date, choose years, in this example, we're going to choose the last three years. Um, and then what we, want to, what we want to do now is take the date field one more time and drop it on the color shelf. And just like that, we have a year over year analysis of the Bitcoin price per month, the max price per month. Uh, as you can see, 2022 was not a great year for Bitcoin. 2023 started an upward trend. And then 2024 has continued that trend with the price being at the all-time high this particular week. Hopefully this helps. Thank you for watching.